Mm. What's good, y'all? It's your boy E. We over here about to do a um a, an operation or an incision. And uh, I looked up a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, did it, did a little bit of research. My my dog Chula, she has a hematoma on her ear, and so there's uh, there's the uh, two options: either you do nothing and it crinkles, it dries out by itself, and it crinkles up. It looks like a cauliflower, or you make a little a little incision and you squeeze you squeegee it out. And so we're 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 gonna go ahead and do the incision. All right, so. These are the product, the, the products that we have to, to prepare for this. We have the uh, surgical blade knife size 11 and it's, it says right there, sterile. So it's sterilized. Okay. And we have it. I'm barely busting it open right there just to get it started. And we got the, the Aura Gel, which is a strong strength. We got the Benzocaine 20, 20%. We got the menthol 0.26%. We went ahead and used that. I went ahead and, uh, and, and I applied that on the, um, the affected area about 20 minutes ago. Set my timer on my phone for 20 minutes. And then after, afterwards, we're, we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of tri uh, triple, an triple antibiotic. And because um, she's, uh, she's a dog, I can't really put a Band-Aid on there because of the fur. So we got this um, liquid bandage that we could put on there. It's, uh, it's like a nail polish type of tip. So that'll go on there real good. And of course, we need the gloves. You know, we want to go ahead and make it safe. Keep all germs away. I'll go ahead and I'll put these on right now. And aside from that, we have the this isopropyl alcohol cleaning wipe. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down that ear where I'm going to make the incision with the, with the surgical blade. And last but not least, we have the uh, sterile pad. And... Um, it's three by three inches. Oh, and th these these just just prices real quick. I can't think off the top of my head how much these cost, but I know that this costs like nine like ninety six cents, three bucks here, about five bucks there, or whatnot. I I didn't pur purchase this at the store. I had this already. I had the surgical blade already, and we already had this uh, sterile pad. I got the sterile pad right here. Where I'm gonna use this for, for two different things. One to wipe away the uh, excess blood, and then secondly, I'm, I'm gonna use it to wipe on the um, the antibiotic, the triple antibiotic. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this right now. Wanted to make sure I put the gloves on because it's on a sterile pad. It, it's in there. It's sterile all. It's sterile already. So I didn't want to infect it with my germs or whatnot in my hands. Okay, we got this right here. Just wanted to open that up. And then let's switch over to the blade. Blade. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, I'm just gonna make a real sharp point. I'm gonna just pretty much stick her real quick. We got Chico with the lights. We got Angelo, that's that's gonna be my, my helper. And then we have Chula. All right, and Chula's gonna, gonna be a good girl. All right, Angela. All right, I need you to get right here. All right. Go ahead and grab her head. I want to do it over the blanket. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so grab her head in one place. Chico, I want you to get on this side where Annie's at. Daddy, and I want you to shine your flashlight. You can sit down. Okay, so this is the affected area. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, glossy or whatnot because uh, I went ahead and I applied the aura gel. So it's been sitting there for 20 minutes, so it should have numbed the area. I massaged it in. It's, it's still a little glossy and stuff like that. So before when before I tried to apply it, the aura gel on her, she started, she started whimpering and stuff. So I know that she's in pain. Right now I'm touching it and she's not whimpering. And as you can see, it's definitely a hematoma. Uh, it's swollen right there. Hey, Chico, I need you to pay attention and put the light where I'm pointing at, okay? All right, if you guys can see that, how thick that is. This is the ear flap. That's the thickness it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be that thick. So that's how we know that it's a hem uh, hematoma. All right, and so we're gonna go ahead and make the incision right now. Just hold it right there. Okay. <clears throat> uh -uh. Shh, 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 shh. Stay, good girl. Shh, 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 shh. Stay, stay, mom. Shh, 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 shh. Good girl, all right. There we go. Uh -uh 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 -uh. Shh, 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 shh. So as you can see, Went ahead and made the incision, and it's leaking out. Okay, I made a small incision because it's a scalpel blade. It definitely poked it real, real good. 
Angela, I need you to get a hold of her, all right? Because I'm, I, I gotta squeeze it out. So I'm gonna make a little bit bigger incision because it's not coming out quick enough. There you go. There you go. That's a bad lead. Good girl. Good girl. And I'm squeegeeing it out. And you could already see it right here flattening out. And what the hematoma is, is pretty much blood vessels that um, rupture inside of the ear. And it begins to swell in between. Stay. Good girl. Good girl, mama. Good girl. Uh, 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 uh. Stay, mama. Stay. And so like I was saying, it's uh, pretty much blood vessels that burst inside. Sometimes it happens if your dog shakes his head too much. In this case, um, it's an allergic reaction with her. I realized that I changed, I switched her food out on Sunday. Today's Wednesday. I switched her food out on Sunday. And then my boy realized that her ear was swollen on Monday. And so I didn't check it up until Tuesday. I was hoping that it was just maybe... Maybe a bee stung her. We got bumblebees in the area. Maybe a wasp stung her, you know. Hey, Angela, can you move over so this can bleed on the blanket? Here we go. Keep shining, Chico. So we're almost com completely done. As you can see, it's just a little bit more. Just, I'm gently squeezing it out because she's already in pain. This is probably a relief for her. Oh. All right. Your hand looks disgusting. That's okay, buddy. Blah. Shh, shh, shh. Is this what it looks like? All right, and so um, do me a favor, just 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 keep it quiet while I'm doing this, all right? Because I'm trying to explain it at the same time. Um, as I was saying, um, uh, I, I noticed um that we changed her food out. She's allergic to chicken, and I bought her this food. I wasn't thinking it, it it's it's roasted fowl, and it has the chicken recipe in it along with turkey and duck, and so. Here we go. All right. So it's completely. Oh, we still have a little bit right there. And you can feel it. We don't want this to fill back up. I want to make sure we get it all out. All right. Keep keep holding it there. Keep holding it there. Good girl. Good girl. No. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Stay true. Stay. Shh. Day. It's okay, Mama. Good girl. That's a good girl. All right. No, it's okay. Just need to wipe this down real good. Good girl. Who's a good girl, Mama? Stay, Mama. It's okay. Come here, Chana. Sit. There you go. That's a good girl. All right. Get it down a little bit lower. I can't really see it. Uh, well, we don't need you to see it. We just need you to point the light, okay? All right, got the That's isopropyl alcohol. I'm just going to wipe off the area, get it nice and clean. Since I made that incision. Okay. Got the alcohol wipe. You can smell it. It's nice and strong. But now, whatever blood or whatever bacteria might be lingering there, getting it off now with this with this alcohol wipe. Really, really good, really effective. Shh, moo moo, quiet. Oh, and also just a tip, in case you got another dog, like right now we have one of our puppies, 10 month old, pup girl, and um, so we're gonna keep them separate, you know, because she might come over here and lick her ear and stuff like that and it'll just end up getting infected. Okay, so now that we have, I think that that's pretty clean right there. It's pretty good. I wiped off most of the blood. See that? Looks pretty good. I can see where I where I made the incision. It's like a little bump right there. That real good. All right. Stay. Okay, and now we're gonna use the other the other part of the gauze. Sit, Shula. Sit. Good girl. You're so good. And now I'm gonna put some ointment on that. And just pretty much. Such a good girl, mama. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I'm just gonna pretty much smear it right there. It's a little dab. 
a little dab right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's strong. Stay, Mama. All right, now last but not least, we have the liquid bandage. This right here, it's gonna gonna take more than one application. Chico, can you hold that for me? Just hold it right there. Uh, Chupi, just hold that for me. All right, just gotta find it again. Okay, I see you. All right, now we take some of the liquid bandage and apply. That's a good girl. Now I'll probably, with the liquid bandage, you normally want to apply it two to three times a day. Depends on how bad the incision is. And it smells like nail polish, so it kind of dries like that. That's a good girl. I'm glad she definitely talks. Talk. I wanna make I wanna make sure that I get this nice and dry because as soon as Angelo lets go, um she she's gonna end up shaking her head. You know, I need you to stand up and put the light right here. There you go. You know how sensitive dogs are when you blow in their ears, so I'm trying to do it gently so that I get the area that I put it on. So it definitely helps to have somebody holding the dog when you're doing something like this. Um, all right, now, let it go. That's a good girl. Who's a good girl, mama? Yes, you are. Turn it off. Get her a treat. That's a good girl. You have to turn it off right there. And this is our chula. We love this girl, so Sit. trying to trying to take care of her, you know. Sit. Sit. Sit, mama. Chula. Chula. Sit. Go ahead, Chula. Sit. Oh. That's a good girl. All right, y'all. That's it. Dr. Pena here, signing off. All right. I hope this video helps. I hope that um, it's uh, it's educational. It's informative. Um, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever. It's all good. Okay, chill out. No. Peace out.